My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having this pasta meal from Trader Joe's. I had it in my freezer for a while, our first time trying it. And it is, I think you pronounce it fiocchetti. I'm not sure, I've never seen this before but it's basically just pasta filled with different types of cheeses in a rich and creamy tomato-based sauce. And this is what it looks like on the plate, and it actually is pretty good. You can prepare it in the microwave or on the stovetop, and I prepared mine on the stovetop. And in my fridge, I had some coleslaw and kale, um, and it was about to go bad, so I just decided to stir fry it in some olive oil, and I just seasoned it up. And then I'm serving some garlic bread on the side. So this is the garlic bread that I made. It is from Walmart, and it was in my freezer. And then this is the coleslaw and the uh, kale that I needed to use up as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer for dinner tonight. I had some boneless, skinless chicken breast in my freezer. I had like three left in the package and I wanted to go ahead and use it up. So Howard threw this chicken on the grill. This is the seasoning that I used. I had a, or well, have, a bunch of these different seasonings in my pantry, the one ounce um, size. I went to, I think it was Tom Thumb, it's been a couple of months ago, and they have these on clearance. So I wanted to try different flavors, so I bought a whole bunch of different uh, seasoning packages to try it. So I will say um, one, ounce, one ounce is pretty big to me. That's a large amount of seasoning, and I thought my chicken would be too salty. It said that this package seasons one pound of meat, and I had one pound of chicken breast, and Howard and I tasted it, and it's not salty to us at all. So uh, don't be afraid like we were. Um, with it, I am serving um, this orzo pasta side dish, which I have made before on our channel. It has spinach in it, and I'll link that video in the description box so you all can check it out. And then I decided to just stir fry up some um, green beans with pancetta. So quick and easy dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It's called 15 Minute Lazy Noodles. It's from an Asian blog that I really like a lot. So in my skillet, all I did was cook up one pound of ground beef with onion and uh, garlic. And now I'm adding some fresh baby spinach to it and I'm just gonna cook it up until the spinach has wilted down. So while my meat mixture was cooking, I boiled up some spaghetti noodles. You can also use Asian noodles, but the recipe called for either, and I, of course, had spaghetti noodles on hand. To my spaghetti noodles, I added in some sesame oil. What I thought was pretty interesting about this recipe is that you're supposed to toss everything in a bowl like this. I was really expecting um, to cook everything in the skillet, but you don't. So now I'm adding in some soy sauce and I am using a low sodium soy sauce. So I'm just gonna pour that over. And next I'm going to add in some dark soy sauce. And just pour that in. And the dark soy sauce is um, thicker than just regular soy sauce. I think it might have, it might be a little bit more sweet than a regular soy sauce. And I'm gonna add in some honey. And I'm going to add in some chili oil, some chili oil. And the recipe calls for two teaspoons. We um, are only doing one teaspoon because we don't know how hot it's gonna be. This is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna add that in. And it's optional, of course, but we do like a little bit of heat. And I'm just gonna toss all of this together. Okay, and next I'm just gonna add in my ground beef and spinach mixture. And I'm just gonna toss this all together. Oh, 
Okay, so here it is all plated up. Howard and I tried it and we both said it is really, really good. Howard gave it a seven and a half out of 10. And I honestly give it like a nine. It's good, I will definitely make it again. It was quick and easy to throw together. Here it is in the bowl. The um, chili oil is not too bad. It's not that hot at all. I probably could have added the other teaspoon because it's fine, very flavorful. I was kind of concerned since you're not mixing everything in the skillet, you're mixing it in a bowl. I thought it might be too salty and it's not. Really good, definitely two thumbs up. And it's one of those meals where you know it's gonna taste better day two once those flavors have had a chance to kind of come together. But anyway, if you like Asian food, definitely give this a try. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a sheet pan sausage and pepper recipe. I'm making some variations, but I will leave the original recipe in the description box. So over here, I have some bratwurst. The original recipe called for Italian sausage. I didn't have any, I'm using what I have on hand. In this bowl, I have um, peppers. So I have three peppers. I have red, yellow, and orange. And then I also have a red onion. I really wanted a yellow onion, but I didn't have any. Right now, I'm just pouring in some olive oil. And then I'm adding in some onion powder. And some garlic powder. And I forgot to show you the onion powder. This is what it looks like. And then my onion, my garlic powder, I'm gonna add that in. And then one of my favorite seasonings, this buttery steakhouse. It tastes good on everything, meat, veggies, you name it, it's so good. So I'm gonna generously sprinkle my veggies with this. And then I'm just gonna give it a good toss. Okay, so next I've got my sheet pan. I lined it with foil, sprayed it with olive oil cooking spray, and I'm just putting my vegetables on the sheet pan, and then I am going to put my meat on top of the veggies. The tip in the recipe said to put your meat on top of the veggies instead of mixing everything together if you want your meat to be nice and crispy. Well, not crispy, nice and golden brown. So let me just spread this out. And now I'm just gonna add my meat on top. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this in my oven. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees and it says to cook it for about 30 minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, so here are the sausage and peppers. Pretty tasty, if I must say so myself. I would definitely make it again. And I am serving it over just some simple white rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are having Korean short ribs for dinner tonight. Howard grilled out and I made the sides. So what we use to marinate the um, short ribs is this Korean barbecue sauce. It is so good by Bibigo. I love this stuff. I actually um, marinated them overnight in the fridge. And so they've been marinating for, I guess about maybe 24 hours. And then for the sides, I made some stir fried broccoli. And I just sauteed the broccoli in olive oil and onion salt. And then I made some fried rice. This Kikkoman um, fried rice seasoning mix is what I used. I really like it a lot. Um, and here are the rest of the short ribs um, that Howard grilled. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.